we want to congratulate the people of this borough for retaining their power, their power to elect the person who will run this council and also the ability to remove that person in four years' time if they, if they do not perform. Amisai Jaramra Maboin, Jaraya Rujama Edino, Eto Hosto Huira Cuba in Dajara, Bordison, Tara Saira Midonibazanita, plus Amar Baibon Jara, Ifstar Foro, both Manush, Cuba in Daya, Bordison. Democracy was played out on the 6th of May in Tower Hamlets. 63,000 people said in a very loud voice that they want to retain their power, their power to shape the future of the borough. And I want, we want to congratulate them and convey to them, take an interest in the affairs of your future. The team had worked very hard, a large group of people for the last four or five months in the pandemic, you know, tried their best to convey the message to the people of the borough that their vote is at stake. Some people, want to take their vote away and want to decide in secret the future of the borough. We were able to get that message across. Yes, we were confident. The people who, con uh, who campaigned extremely hard to retain the mail system were very confident that we will retain the mail system in the borough. The, the mail system gives the power to the people. The people will elect every four years who runs the council. If that person who heads the council, the mayor, fails to deliver, fails to live, deliver on their manifesto, it is possible for the people to remove that person from the power. Under the leadership system, which we know very well, it is few councillors in secret who choose the leader. With the mail system, the power is with the people, the mandate is given by the people, and if that person doesn't perform, uh, fails to be accountable to the people of the borough, they can remove that person and install someone who will deliver for them, who will serve them. We are grateful. We are grateful to the people of this borough. They need to be congratulated. They came out in large numbers and they voted to retain their power. I am always available. We are always available to support our community. In time of need, in time of crisis, we will be with the people, supporting the people. Our team will decide how we go forward for 2022. But let me assure you, we want someone to, be, uh, to represent the people. We want a person who will be the mayor, who will serve and be mandated by the people of this borough. We are extremely grateful to the people of Tower Hamlets who have came out to protect their rights, to protect their vote. The people of Tower Hamlets will now decide who they elect as their mayor. And we, as the campaign from Tower Hamlets mayoral campaign team, we are grateful to our former mayor of London, Ken Livingston, and especially our former mayor of Tower Hamlets, Lutu Rahman, and many other community leaders, community activists who have worked tirelessly over the last six months. Because of their hard work, because of their dedication, we have fight the mainstream parties and we have defeated them. In return, the community and the resident of Tower Hamlets have given us a mandate that a mayor should be elected by the people.